Hello hi and welcome to Meaningful Mondays with me Rashmi Shetty a space where i share my life lessons March 8th world over is celebrated as international women's day but if you ask me well i think the day when you decide to be who you truly are completely satisfied perfectly fine with all the imperfections and accepting yourself completely is the true women's day and if each one of us decides to do that and celebrate i think all 365 days of the year becomes women's day for us days when we have those doubts by the end of the day when the doubt is cleared celebrate so this is what i started realizing in the very early years of my motherhood you know when you're working and you take a break because of motherhood by choice there comes a time when you question your choice i belong to a community called the bunt community where the predominant language is tulu and uh, i was very very particular that my boy should know the mother tongue so at home it was a rule that my husband and i would speak tulu at least till the children are about 3 4 years so that they get tulu very fluently and then can pick up english as they go into school my younger one was about 14 15 months old and the elder one was about 3 and a half 4 when i was talking to a neighbor in english and suddenly i was completely shocked because i couldn't get a simple word in english and it hit me i was like what's happening to me how is this possible So I started seeing what I can do in order to make sure that I still stay in touch with this language of communication which I was good at but was rusted in the last 4 years. And uh, at that point in my son's school there was a presentation which a few women had come forward to do and that kept some amazing books that can be invested upon in order to make sure that your children get into the habit of reading i am a huge believer that books are amazing to have as companions i was excited when i saw the books because it was a feeder school so the children they were catering to were max 5 years old not older than that and my son was 4 and i was very impressed i wanted those books for my children and when i saw the pricing I was completely shocked. It was like I think there were 20 books which cost about 15,000 but they were beautiful. And uh, at that point of time, I mean I heard the price, I stepped back and I said, "Oh lovely books." And the lady was like, uh, "Would you be interested?" I said, "No, they're too expensive." So, sorry. So she immediately looked at me and she said, "You know what? Uh ma'am, you can earn this entire investment." I said, "How?" She said, "Join our team and then we'll tell you how." I said, "No, I have a baby who's 14 months and I can't leave him anywhere. I don't believe in play homes and uh, my elder one has just started school. He comes home by 12 o'clock, 12:30 max. I can't join any plays or go out anywhere without my children." So she said, uh, "Ma'am, there's a three-hour orientation. Why don't you come there? If you're not comfortable, you don't uh, take it up. But since you seem interested in the books and you can get it for free, why don't you just come sit up?" So I came home and I spoke to my husband about it, and he said, "Do whatever you want, um, but don't join it because you have to get back the investment. I think that's okay. It's not that very." uh expenses so pay that amount and buy the books you don't have to worry about earning it back somewhere something told me that just go ahead go for the orientation you're not going to lose anything you don't have to buy it to go to the orientation so i went for the orientation and i loved what they were talking about iq eq and all the uh, complete scientific analysis of why reading to children early can make a whole difference i really loved it and after such a big gap getting back into speaking those terminologies excited me but then my children i was not too sure 
and once I ordered the books, I came home. The day the books came home, my elder one was there. He just come back from school, and he was super excited. He was going through the pages, and he fell asleep. The fourteen-month-old, at that point, waited till his elder brother went to sleep, and then started opening the book and turning the pages and laughing to himself. I knew I had to do this for other mothers, and that set out on a journey to who I have become today. I realized at that point, if I had stopped and told myself, "No, no, with two children, it's not going to be possible. Just stay back. Don't bother. Anyway, your husband has said it's okay." Maybe I wouldn't have done what I'm doing today. Because the moment I saw my children enjoying the book so much, I made sure that all the appointments of meeting parents and doing presentations is done over the weekend, wherein I can take my children to work, seat them in the corner, and then do the presentation. I never realized in the process that other parents were observing my children. In fact, a few of them even asked me, "Do you read these books to your children?" I said yes. So they were like, if two boys can sit without getting distracted, then I'm sure there's magic in these books. And my children became the brand ambassadors for the books. Honestly, motherhood only enhances your leadership qualities. So if you have stopped, paused, or wondered whether being a mother should stop you, I think. The woman in you should not be worried about it. Motherhood gives you that extra confidence that I need to find myself now, doubly renewed, because I need this for my children—a confident mom. And that's what I urge you out there. If you're actually having the self-doubt that. Should I? My kids are small; they won't be able to manage without me. Look for something where you can take them to work, and make sure that you do not stop evolving. Then, like I said, every day can be Mother's Day, Women's Day. We don't have to celebrate it only on any one day. But the fact that you are a woman will make you proud. Every day of the year, and all 24 hours of the day. Whenever you have those doubts, it will come back to you with renewed vigor that you are enough with whatever you have. Have a meaningful, purposeful week ahead, and a happy Women's Day again.